Oh no, fuck. Shit, I'm getting my ass handed to me, come on. Back in the game. You probably noticed already, but all my videos are in stereoscopic 3D, and this causes huge problems with YouTube's new player. So, the solution is to click the first link in the description. This is gonna open a flash version of the YouTube player, which fully supports my videos. If you don't plan on watching in 3D, or if you're using Mac or mobile, which don't support flash, then click the second link in the description. That will open a 2D daily motion version of this video. Hi, hello there. I mean, hello there. Uh, we're gonna take a look at something else. I just finished the Titanic video and for a rare occasion, I have plenty of free time on my hands, mostly because that free time would normally be spent playing Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, so this is Shuffle Puck Cantina Deluxe VR. Yes, you gotta say the full name, right? No, because there's a, an original version of this game that's much older, and it's been sort of remade, or should I say reimagined, uh, for, for ba basically new generation gaming, including virtual reality. And uh, so far, right off the bat, uh, runs buttery smooth. There are absolutely no frame rate issues here. Um, I'll make sure that all my devices are rolling so that I can enter the game and show it to you. So it's, it's running actually at 75 despite uh, me recording, which is pretty good. Human, wow, what a crash. I think my capsule is screwed. Human, but onto what planet have I fallen? What is that giant tower? Vardor. Oh, shit. A native babbling in an unknown language. I've apparently traveled a few too many parsecs. Stupid insta trance. Ah, it seems to be working. You're going to have to move your hunk of junk. This isn't a dump. You're looking at Athenor. All right. A hunk of junk? The flower of human technology? In a sorry state, unfortunately. Uh, it really looks like I'm going to have to find myself a new vessel. A new vessel? You're in the right place. If you work hard, you can find what you need here. Follow me. Ooh. Hello. I had V-Sync issues with this when I did my tech run, because uh, I ran it in Extend HMD. Uh, but now I'm running in direct mode, where I actually have the mirrored display on my monitor, which is pretty cool. This looks cool, and obviously I recognize the music, right? <laughs> <laughs> Vador, first things first, identify yourself. Use the machine in the middle against the pillar. That thingy thing thing there? Okay. Here. I'll go with Bud. There we go. Sure, lucky I have the latest model of Instatrans. It's thanks, thanks to it that I can speak your language. Press escape to skip the tutorial. Let's, let's go in the tutorial. There's a few creds. Go buy yourself one at the store. Go buy my... Alright. Creds? Store? Exactly. Yes. Please explain. Creds is the local currency. Your balance is displayed in this... Huh? So a store to make a purchase. And what will I want to buy is exactly the question that I am thinking of right here. Here's the store. Here you can get yourself the best equipment in the Bellus Quadrant. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna start with the... P Pucks, Mallets, Miscellaneous. For now, just buy this Instatrance. By swallowing it, you'll assimilate all the language spoken in the galaxy. Okay, how do I... Okay. Ah, there we go. Would you like? Yes, I would like to confirm. I had to double click. It sort of didn't detect it the first time. It's a loan. I fully intend to get my creds back when you are worthy of meeting me on the third floor. Oh, good luck. Okay. Welcome to Ednor, foreigner. I suppose you want to strike it rich. You've come to the right place. You 
just have to choose an opponent and win the game and earn a reward. A game? I have to challenge people in order to make money? That ought to be difficult for me. Not so fast, my friend. To earn creds, you're going to have to prove your medal. Apparently, I don't have much of a choice, weird-looking robot, now do I? How does the fucking game work? I'll show you. First, select me in the scene. Gotcha. Choose play for now. Of course. You can challenge each opponent in three different ways. Duel, bet, or survival. The simplest is to battle in duel mode. You will win creds and medals. If you're feeling confident, you can do in the betting mode, gambling, and your victory. Last survival mode allows you to test your endurance some experts preserve and amass great fortunes. Let's go at it! Choose the duel and start the game! Let's do this. Alright. Win in four points. Perfect gold medal. More than two points lost burn missile. Okay. Equipment. Let's go at it. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. So you really want me to go in right away. Okay. Wow. This is pretty cool. I like with the mouse that it feels like you're actually moving this thing. Control your mallet so as to send the puck into my territory. If you break the hollow glass, okay, I think I know what the hollow glass is right now. It's that little line there. You score a point. Try and see. Oh, this is fun. This is dangerously fun. Oh, come on, you let it, you let it go through. You showed me, okay, okay, you gave me that one though. What? That's it? Well done. You're a quick study. We cut the game short, but you, okay, you can still bank a reward. Yay! I think they gave me full reward for that little game. Alright! Uh, on that note, information is crucial to truth, the biography to learn a bit more about my hectic life. <laughs> Purchase the first anecdote from my life with the reward you've obtained? Really? I have to- really? Oh, it's- it's mouse steering, that's funny. There we go. Yeah, why not? Let's just go with it. Uh, M4 Avin is one of the few autonomous robots on Athenor. He started working in the bar the second floor a dozen cycles after a long trial period, which he had to improve his sense of connection with the customers. So you had to become more human, in other words. Uh, on scale, by the way, I would say everything's quite too small. You guys are pretty tiny. You hear that? You're tiny. You're freaks. Okay. Uh, what? Oh shit, I missed what he said. Damn it. Okay, what do I do next? Do I hit escape? Yes. Obtain all my biographies and I will let you borrow my equipment, my special strike, and my unique abilities. Oh, cool! Then if you preserve enough and help me with my little troubles, I will offer you one part of your future spaceship. Every opponent has a spaceship part for you. Cool. Your name is displayed on the upper left, gives you access to the personal menu. There you'll find crucial information like your personal data and your stats. Most importantly, you can consult your mission list. Completing missions will allow you to earn snazzy rewards. Cool. Okay, so there's even missions and shit. Also, by purchasing the first anecdote from my life, you just successfully completed your first mission. Your Allotron is now displaying missions and place your name to indicate that you have completed one or more missions. It's like the missions are your Allotron, na, na na There we go. Yay! Oh, and I can bank the reward like this. Nice! That was cool. You win token! You new friend! Is that you? That's funny. Me play prize machine with new friend. Select machine against pretty pillar. Okay. Uh, game simple and funny. Me like game a lot. Okay. You choose card for token and new prize maybe. Okay. I got it, I got it. Oh, you win shiny new token, me jealous. You keep playing, try for another prize. Oh, you win more score. 
You can show off to your friends on the leaderboards. You very lucky. You token again. Play, play. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you you find ugly skull. Ugly skull mean Luna. Oh, no. Fuck you. That was bullshit. I forgot. Adnor isn't just on this one floor. You will have to fight against many opponents in order to obtain all the parts for your future spaceship. Of course. So the elevator to go to another floor. I would assume that that is the elevator? Yeah. Ooh. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, so I guess I hit escape again? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I think you can get by on your own now. Good luck, human. Thank you! Oh no, Mivler, we want to play with new friend. Okay, I actually, that's a great way to introduce me. Let's go for a duel. Uh, what about the equipment? Let's just, okay, classic buck. I can't really buy shit yet because I don't even have any creds. So if I go on X, no, whoops, no, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Play, duel, let's go, start. There we go. Not too sure to navigate the back and forth there, but probably get the hang of it. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah! That's the shit. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, shit, here it comes. Oh, shit, fuck, ass, bitch, fuck, ass. Yeah! That's the shit. Oh, yes, 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 bitch. Herman. Damn it. There we go. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? You fucked me. You asshole. Oh! Yeah! You almost gave me that one. I'll try to be careful now. Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! Yeah, that wobbling thing is pretty tough to deal with. You gotta be slow when that happens. Yeah, that's right. Hey! Anyway, oh, yes, 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 bitch. Victory, creds, 80 score. All right, let's bank that score, bank that shit. Win one bronze medal. Um, why not bank that shit? Let's do this again. Oh yeah, that was a nice shot. Got you there. Got you there, little buddy. Little funny buddy. Oh come on, you gave me that one. Play harder. <laughs> Oh, 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 my, my thing shrank for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Look at my thing. Fuck. I'm a total disadvantage now. No wobbling. Oh, yeah, I blanked you. That's right. Okay, uh, by the way, uh, I got to get back into first impressions mode just for a second here and say, this is a lot of fun. This is pretty much fun. Uh, one, win one silver medals, yay! Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, you suck. I'm gonna, cause I heard this game gets fucking hard, so let's try the lady that's dancing here. So they get, let me get this straight, they let you actually get off work to play, all of you here, they all let you just stop working and play the table hockey thingy thing there. Okay, I can, <laughs> I can deal with that. Come on, come on. Okay, that's a little hard to do. The hit, hitting the play button, I'm like at the very edge of the clickability. Okay, let's start this, let's start this, come on. There we go. She, oh shit. Yeah, she's probably gonna be a little tougher, eh? What the fuck is up with that that slidey thingy? Oh, you can probably buy those, eh? 
Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm in the game. And then the game is just one one. Oh bullshit! Stop showing off. Oh damn it! Oh, I wanted that thing. Ooh, lucky. Oh yes. That's right. That's right. Uh, virtual reality greatly benefits a game like this. It makes it, first off, very believable, and second off, uh, I don't know, it's the kind of thing that's always annoying on a screen, especially in 2D, because you don't have depth perception, so you can't really gauge it as if it were played in real life, but this? Kind of like pinball would in virtual reality. Pinball would be perfect in virtual reality. Well, this too. Uh, these physical kind of games, especially when the game physics are really good, you'll show them off best when uh, you're running it stereoscopic and with something as immersive as possible. That's right, bitch. Four, one, motherfucker. Let's bank that shit. And... Here we go. So what do I get? Minus 30 for a defeat? Let's go at it. Let's go at it. Watch, it's gonna be harder. It's actually gonna be harder just because we're betting. Oh! Oh! What a save! Come on, come on. Yes! That was a bit of a softy on her side, but good, because I'll take everyone I can get in the bet mode. Yeah! That's right! How, that's how you do it. Opponent is pissed off. Oh shit. Okay, the opponent can actually get pissed off. It's good to know. Just like in actual hockey. Oh. Oh. Come on. I'll give you a crooked shot right there. Come on. Come on. Damn it. I love the sound effects, by the way. Those are so Atari. That ah, shit. Damn it. But she's starting to play really fucking good now. No! Fuck! Opponent is pissed off! Ah, oh, bitch, what? Oh, there's a sort of shield on my puck right now. I didn't know that. Okay. And it's over now. Okay. I got it, I got it. So the colors rep- Ah! The colors represent some sort of power. Yeah, when you bet, yeah! They get much more difficult to beat. That's why I actually repeated with the bet option. I figured it would be a little bit crazier. The times two, does that mean times two the bet? Oh, oh shit, ah, oh, no, damn it. I can actually see when I do it late. I, like, I, I know I screwed it up as it happens. So, so, oh, so far, fair enough. Oh, no, fuck. Shit, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Come on. I'm back in the game. No, shit. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Bitch. Come on. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I know I fucked that one up. When I say bullshit, bullshit as in I played like shit right there. This does require a lot of focus. I mean, it's essentially 3D Pong, but it's it's air hockey. I always liked air hockey as a kid. It was a, a lot of fun. There we go. I took advantage of my big slidey thingy there. Come on, come on, come on. Stop with your fucking showboating so that I keep my yellow shit. Oh, no, bullshit. Fuck. Come on. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, the shield is on. Okay, cool. Well, like last time, I didn't fucking hit my 
hollow glass like six times. Ah! Bullshit! Fuck. Damn it. So as soon as you get to a gap of four points... Okay, I'm gonna stop playing against this lady in uh, bet mode. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. What do we got here? Let me see if... Uh, no, I, I want to see the, the store thingy. How do I go to the store thingy? Isn't that... No. I think it's there, but I'm not sure. No. Uh, store thingy, was it here? No. You gave me a fucking tutorial. Ah, well. Okay. Store, I guess? Uh, okay, uh, pucks. Classic puck. Now that's holy shit. Better stop losing my fucking money. And that's the Herobrine mallet. Okay, those are their mallets. That's why you'd actually get their ability. Okay, that's cool. So it's gonna take quite a while to actually get there. Even the pucks, for fuck's sake. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, fine, I get it, I get it. Um, but you, funny guy. Oh no, 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 you give me prizes and medals and give you missions for points, creds, and tokens. Uh, first mini quest. Put together four consecutive points in survival mode against furry. Do it. Let's do it. Why am I playing with a hot dog? No. <laughs> ah, crap! Right? I got it, I got it, I got it. Come on, oh, <laughs> come on you let that one through! Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yes. You're not playing very hard, but... I'm, it's okay, I'm, I'm ramming the puck into my own glass! Oh, come on. You can't stop that slow shit. I... Oh, shit. Fuck. So, survivor mode, you actually have to not fail at all. Play again. Yes, please. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Steady. Steady. Yeah. That's right. Creds are everywhere, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. All right, halfway there. Come on, furry bitch fucking thingy. You gotta keep it simple with him and he just goes nuts. If you try to actually play hard, he starts playing hard. It's like the difficulty sort of auto adjusts or something. Yeah! That's right. Four. Oh, got my confidence back. I'm gonna start talking like a sportsman. Okay, I... Uh, how long? 24 minutes! <laughs> okay, this is more than like the Titanic demo, obviously. It's a game you can play for hours. But I'm gonna stop it here. Uh, 24 minutes is plenty for a, a video. Look, he's all upset. Oh, no, no, you're very strong. Me never touch you. Um, but I'm gonna go claim whatever he gives. Oh, shit, look at this. I get a bunch of creds. Uh, score and shit and I uh, can just bank that shit and check that out. Oh, yeah You are now at level two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you All right, that's that's cool um, Now I guess I hit that little X to dismiss that and I am back in the front screen uh, That's cool that follows me. I like that. That's nice. All right, so an excellent VR title. One of the things that impresses me the most, I'm putting frame rate counters now in my videos, and you probably noticed they didn't drop. Probably went at 73 the lowest, because I didn't feel a single fucking frame drop. This is really the way VR should run at all times. I know it's a much smaller environment, it's much easier to deal with in terms of performance, but hey, I've seen games that didn't have much and had trouble running smooth. This, this is a great example of an excellent VR experience. Beginners, I would recommend this to you totally. It's 
a low movement experience. There's no uh, FPS controls, yet it is extremely immersive, and the game is simple, so... And you can actually start making fun of these little opponents there. Look at this little guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go see him up close, just because he's so funny. Look at this little guy. Oh, no, no, you fight me yet again. Yeah, as a... As an, as an ending... No, you know what? No, no. No, no. You fucker. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go for... Uh, see, this guy gets difficult. I'm gonna end it on this note. I'm gonna show you the whole battle, but that's gonna be the last one. So this is probably the game where you end up wasting a lot of time because you keep going, oh, just another one. And then you keep playing, and then you keep playing, and then you're like, holy shit. Double strike. Oh shit, that would give me two points if I if I beat him. This guy keeps using his fucking wobbly thingy power thingy. Ah, oh, no! Bullshit, I got out of the way. That was stupid of me. I, I, I literally just removed the puck from... The, the, removed the, the slider from the puck's way. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. Uh, he's a little... Smarter, I should say. Not not really necessarily agile, but he's a little quicker on his slider thingy um, than he was in dual mode. They seem to have this uh, nice variable difficulty to them, individually so, which is pretty cool. This guy's probably the easier one. It's a lot of fun. It's really, really believable and a cool design for a game. Oh shit, fuck. It's like tennis, right? Every time I fucking go behind, I gotta come back and get the lead again. This can be endless, yes. But it won't be. Let's get it, let's get it. Oh shit, double strike. So that was a double strike right there. We're back in the game. Completely back in the game. Ugh, ooh. Gotta be careful about that. Oh. Ooh. Double strike, come on, double strike, double strike. Ah, oh, damn it. Ooh. Opponent is pissed off. That's the power I just got? That's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why by three points. I don't know exactly how the system works. That was a lot of fun. That was a pretty riveting duel. It's more riveting when you bet because you're going to lose the credits, right, if you lose. So that was fucking cool. There we go. 331. So I'm on my way to getting better equipment already. Uh, so that was Shuffle Buck Cantina, people. Uh, 20, <laughs> 28 minutes. Uh... And uh, I would recommend it to beginners and uh, veterans of virtual reality. Very, very good game. Uh, super smooth operation. And see, I just saw 72 there. 75, 75. Okay, yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. It really, really runs excellent. This is exemplary VR, should I say. So, Shuffle Puck Cantina, about 10 bucks on Steam, uh, or your regional equivalent. Um, and that's it. Full VR support. Very good one at that.